Hello guys and welcome to another episode of the Terraria Let's Play slash series. I don't know, I guess it can technically be both. Depends on what you call it. This is going to be episode 8 and in this episode I will finally do what I promised and fight the boss, uh, the Eye of Cthulhu. You can see I've prepared here uh, with everything except for the actual fucking eye. Now that that little oversight has been fixed, uh, I think we're just going to start the boss. Uh, this would function as a reasonable place to fight him, I guess. It's not a biggie. Uh, so we're going to start by consuming dank stuff that should increase our uh, health and stuff. So we'll eat some po, which gives us well-fed. Oh, okay, so I assume this one just does the same. Well, I'm not going to do that then. Uh, instead, we will consume an iron skin potion, which boosts our defense. Hopefully this will help in keeping us alive. And fuck you guys. Do you not see I am preparing for a boss fight? I've got no time for your bullshit. So yeah, we're gonna summon him. The suspicious looking eye. It doesn't work. How do I... <laughs> Shit, how about... Summons the eye of Cthulhu. Yeah. Fucking consume it then. After doing some research, I have now found that you actually need to wait until night time. So I might just have wasted some iron skin potion. Oh well, I have more. We can even craft some more. Alright, night time should be around any day now. Where's this? Ah, oh, bird. Derp. Alright, so I've gone ahead and made myself a new iron skin potion. I also brought a shine potion since we're gonna have to do this in night time. And I do expect there to be... Uh, monsters and whatnot, so I do want to see what I'm doing. Also, I'm not going to be using the uh, the helmet, uh, the uh, mining helmet. Instead, I'm going to be using the usual tungsten, just to get that slight boost to the defense. I think that it will be nice. I mean... No, it still doesn't work. I guess we have to wait for the music to change. Let's, yep, let's just sit about. And there my dumbass iron skin potion is just about to run out. So that was like optimal poor timing right there. Hey, hey, they are not too difficult to craft. They're actually one of the few potions I know how to craft. So, um, I should make like a farm or something. That's definitely on the list of to-dos. Uh, so I can have a constant supply of iron skin potions. So that whenever I'm fighting a boss or something, I'll have that in the blood. So that I can uh, more easily defeat it. A blood moon! Come on, game! Will you not let me have a second of peace? Yeah, this is stupid. I think that... Uh, I'll just go underground for this one. I've already gotten the unique items from the blood moon, so... Yeah, I think we're just gonna go below the surface. I'm gonna go to some, do some digging, I guess. Whee-hoo! Interesting how the blood moon even changes the color of the uh, the water. So, or below here as well. Oh, shit. Oh, okay, so this is where we stopped. Uh, good thing I <laughs> should have paid attention there, but yeah, there you go. Um, is this really where we ended our exploration? I guess it is. It's been a while now. I've been spending so many hours making the stupid fucking uh, railroad that... Uh, who knew? Who knows? Alright, so we just rid ourselves of that water. Let's keep going down. Right, I had a quick tour up so that I could make sure we get our hands on some uh, doors. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna, it's a bit scary now because you never know if this is going to be lava or just regular water. But I assume we will be safe. Cobalt, I fell into the water. No! Escape! <laughs> Fucking escape, oh god. Yeah, this is probably the biggest body of water we have had to make our way through. So I see there's salamander. I have guns now, you stand no chance. Now I just need to find a place to dump the water. This will do just fine as a reservoir. Not all the water, I guess, because of some poor design decisions, but that's fine. Oh, there we go. The water has now changed back to blue, so I assume that's... Uh, that means that the day is over. But we still need to wait for another night before we can really start uh, thinking about fighting the Eye of Cthulhu again. Platinum, ah, uh, yes. Ooh, topaz. Even more topaz is found. And there it is, our first instance of lava. Ooh, and not only is it lava, it is water on top of lava. Oh god, piranha. Back off. Huh, interesting. 
Can I mine this? I assume this is obsidian if my Minecraft knowledge suffices. No, I cannot. I guess I need a better pickaxe. Of course. Nope, we did indeed get lucky here with the lava, so we can easily dig past it. Ooh, what is that though? I do wonder. There's a boatload of platinum. Perfect. What? Oh no, I drowned! <laughs> oh, I'm such a moron. God damn it. Really? It's like lava right up in my face and I drowned to death. Oh, oh well, at least now we can like fix this place up after the blood moon. I, I should probably build like some permanent walls. I've recently been listening to a podcast about the uh, Hadrian Hadrian's Wall in uh, Br Britannia uh, that the Romans built. So maybe I should do something similar. I, I'm sure we can make it look somehow nice. Quickly though, I do want to fix this grass growth. My nemesis right here. These in the most visible areas. Let's plop a dop here. door here as well. <laughs> dop? What the fuck? Let's restock on uh, stone blocks. Now these walls will have to be rather close to the building itself in order to actually be effective. And I wonder, can... Can ice tear down walls? Because if so, this wall is not going to do much. Okay, I've got an idea. We're going to have... No storm blocks on this side, but some on this side, because I will never be needing to jump over it to get in, only to get out. So yeah, I kinda, this, is a f this is fine, I guess. I guess we'll plop some torches here. Mm, these walls I'm building, they might just still be too far away from the building itself. Because if you are too far away, like as long as, like mobs can spawn anywhere, as long as they're off screen, as far as I understand it. So, that's a problem. Well, I guess the most important part is that we can stand in the middle of our fortress and we can see both walls. That should prevent spawning inside of the walls, at least. Anyways, it's about time we get this boss fighting show on the road. Let's consume some food. Let's consume our iron skin potion. Let's get our shine potion going. I mean, these flowers already glow a bit. Let's pray to all the gods and let's summon the Eye of Cthulhu. All right, all right, let's do this. Oh, there he is. Shoot him. Shoot him with guns. Okay, so what, what is, oh my god, okay, so he shoots down at your face. I need to get under him. I don't want him to get too close to my base. Hi, Cthulhu, or Ayav, I guess. Oh shit. My musket, if a bit slow, does seem to be the most effective way of fighting him. Uh, that I have right now, of course. Just because it's... Uh, oh my god. Ay ay ay. Ah! Oh, ball sack. Oh, now's the time to use this shit, I guess. Woo! Kill him! Oh, this is doing, we're doing fine! Much better against than we did against King Slime. Oh shit, out of mana. Oh, mana stars! Heal me! Or not heal, I guess. Ah! Oh man. Two parkour, five you. Oh shit, yeah, now we're getting to those heals that killed me against King Slime. Zombies, do not interrupt my fighting. He has a lot of damage though. Ooh, and he died! Oh, that was easy, we did that super good. Let's see what we got. We got, uh, unholy arrows. And some demonite ore, that was what I was looking for. Now these I remember, so now we can make awesome ass pickaxes and shit. But that was so easy, and we already have boosted ourselves. You know what, I say we trigger another one of those bastards. Um, just sort of while we're at it, you know? In order to maximize potion usage and shit. Alright, let's get another suspicious looking eye. Yep. And get out again quickly now before my potions run out. Maybe I should have stocked up on some more potions, but nah. We're hardcore as shit, man. We can handle this. Oh man, get that critical damage going. I think that what that is what it is anyways, when you get that... Uh, uh, yeah, that 
that color, the darker shade of orange color of damage. Shit. Since there just was a Blood Moon, I really should have purchased another, um... Another batch of silver bullets, because these are dank me awesome. Look at that. Look at that accuracy. Look at that damage. Shoot him! Oh wow, he's already to that state. Okay. Keep shooting. Let's go over to the uh, Wild Thorn. That seems to be doing much better when he's this close. Plus we save bullets by doing it. Kill, kill, kill! And we're wrecking him! We are destroying him! Okay, back to the gun. Shoot, shoot. And yeah, get over here, you bitch. Ah, oh, man, get slaughtered. Oh my god. I have good Wow, this is brilliant. Shit. Should we do another one? Should we try one without actually using potions and buffs? Just to see if we can pull it off. This is a personal challenge. Let me say we do that. We haven't even used a single health potion, so if if things get really bad, that's something we can go for. So yeah, let's get our another fucking suspicious looking eye. Right, I went ahead and stored away my money, just sort of in case. Let's go again! This video is not going to be called the Eye of Cthulhu, it's going to be the Ice of Cthulhu. If there's enough room in the thumbnail to call it that. I don't know, I might adjust the thumbnail a bit in order to accommodate longer names. I've noticed that being a bit of a problem in my... Uh, Title making is that the th I I had a far too big a font in the thumbnail. There we go, second stage already. Run away! Come on! Oh, shit. I keep getting stuck in that hole. I need to do some digging to prevent that. All right, let's. Can we do this without potions? Can we do it? Yes, we could. Get that dang stuff. Ah, this was fun. This was really good fun. Um. Now, we can go ahead and start turning this, uh... Where did it go? There it is. Demonite ore into demonite bars. Also, I now have the ability to make a topaz hook. I have no idea what the difference is, but it looks fancy as crud. So let's go ahead and build that. That was totally unrelated to the boss fights we just did. Uh, what is related, though, is the fact that we can now make a light bane, 17 melee damage. Which is no better than the thing I write, I have right now. <laughs> I guess it's because it has the pointy uh, thing. Okay, so this demonite shit is not actually that much better than um, uh, our usual shite. And there's the War Axe of the Night, which gives us... Ooh, that's a lot of melee damage. Yeah, a lot more than this Night Bane, actually. Average speed, average knockback, axe power. So and we can make an axe that's actually better than our current sword, or you know, the best sword we can make. Interesting, but sadly, I see no pickaxes. All right, I figured it out. Uh, the reason that we cannot actually make anything with this demonite shit we have right now is the fact that we need to combine it with shadow scales that we get from the Eater of Worlds. So that's a problem. Of course, we completely goofed when we were supposed to fight that guy, so... I guess that's something we need to do before we can really start making too much interesting stuff. I mean, we guess we could go ahead and make an axe just for the lulz. I do need to be digging some... Um, oh, wrong place. I do need to start digging some... Uh, digging? Chopping down some trees in order to get some... Um, more wood. A light war axe. Less knockback, but more speed. More speed is good, since this is primarily going to be a chopping thing, I guess. So I guess we'll ditch our lead axe. That is then, as, as that is now less than super useful. Alright, so now we're chopping in style. However, sadly, the, the forests have yet to really regrow after my <laughs> crazy chopping last time around when we needed to build those, um, that bridge over the corruption in the winter area. Although, uh, I did plant some trees elsewhere as well though, so surely we'll, there will be some trees. But we do, new, do need a decent bit of trees and wood, uh, because I do intend to continue my construction on the railroad. Sorry, by the way, if that's a bit boring, but oh well. I've sort of got it into my head now to really just continue that thing. So I, I must do it. It is it is my destiny. Of course, I've been a complete moron and I've decided to plant all the trees on the side of the world. I don't have a massive railroad to, but you will. Your days are numbered, trees. Well, so yeah, for those who haven't noticed, well, I guess you have noticed, uh, I've changed back from the top hat to the fez. 
Uh, I did some Google. Oh, these trees actually give you regular wood despite being uh, jungly looky. That's a lot of wood. Oh my god. Yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, uh, I need to wait a bit. Well, quite a while actually before I can get the clothier who sells the rest of the, the suit attire. Well, he doesn't sell it, but he gives you the required ingredients. He sells you black string, which you need to make it. I think you combine it with silk. So yeah, there's no, there's not going to be any full suit for a while. So for now, we will just roam about in our... What is this even called again? Our fez. Yep. So of course here we can see our new topaz pick, uh, hook thing. Thingamadiki. Yep, so that's nice. Alright, uh, hopefully we have enough wood at this point. Of course, I do intend to make bigger parts of the um, the railroad underground from now on, so hopefully we won't consume quite as much. Oh? The fuck are you? Oh, that's a druid, right? Yeah, a druid. Okay, I didn't notice that she came over here, but that's fine. So you're now a thing? Have you tried using purification powder on the ebon stone of the corruption? Nope. No idea how to do that, so... Dirt Rod magically removes dirt. See, I don't need magic to remove dirt, thank you very much. Acorn, yes, not worth buying. Planter box. Ooh. So can I grow... Actually, yeah. Ooh, grass seeds. That's potentially really useful. If it does what I think it is, which is, you know, grow grass. <laughs> But I don't necessarily want that though. I would prefer flower wall. I want the the weird stuff that grows deep underground, not regular grass. Anyways, here's some uh, purification powder so we can purify the um, the corruption. But actually, though, now that I now that I have been thinking about, because I, I was sort of racking my brain trying to come up with why exactly did I start making the railroad and I remember it of course I wanted a quick way to get to the corruption and one of the reasons I want to go there frequently is that I need to grow a certain type of mushroom but I think I've mentioned it before uh, the fact that I don't think they are growing right now simply because there is only ice over there and no regular you know as a uh, no regular ground with uh, corrupted grass so let's actually go over here and let's pick up some of that grass, some of those grass seeds. And also, there are flowers here now. And I cannot pick. No, I can't. Okay, I just have to use the pickaxe for some reason. Okay, wait. Hmm. Yeah. I need, well, I think I'm gonna. Well, I'm not gonna have a separate video for gardening. Uh, but I, I want to make a garden. I think actually I wouldn't mind having that in these two floors. Uh, once again, keeping the most useful stuff, you know, farthest down, and then the longer up you go, I just give that territory to various NPCs, I guess. Alright, so now we have some grass seeds, we of course have some dirt. So now we're gonna head over to the corruption, and we're going to see if I can uh, make some corrupted grass spawn, and then see if I can get... I don't remember the name of the mushroom, but the reason I want it is because it gives you access to better health health potions, if I remember correctly. Uh, as, you might th as you might guess, I've just sort of googled my way into figuring this out. Alright, we have arrived at the corruption. Let's open this shit up. Let's get down here and do some fighting, I guess. And actually, let's close this just so that mobs that spawn above me will not hurt me while I'm messing around down here. Maybe I should. Mm, maybe I should actually Google the triggers for the various uh, for that mushroom I want. But I'm pretty sure you just need grass in the corrupted area, and that'll do the trick. All right, so the idea is simply that we're going to tear away the top layer of dirt. Uh, of snow, I guess, and we're going to replace it with, well, dirt. Oh no! Of course it doesn't connect. God damn it, game! For fuck's sake! Okay, so stone does actually. Oh, for fuck's sake! God damn it, goblin army! You know what? I'm just tired of their shit at this point. But yeah, the idea is that, okay, so we're gonna have a layer of stone, and we're gonna fill this entire hole with dirt. And then hopefully we cannot see the abomination that is this refusal to connect. No! I went home! I did not mean to do that! God damn it! Yeah, fuck you, goblin army. I don't even give a shit. I don't know. Yeah, they're dead. They're just gonna go after me, so if this whole thing... I wanna build on my project, although sadly it doesn't look like we can just kill them by running over them, so I guess we fucking have to defeat them then. God damn it. 
Oh, we have defeated the hundredth goblin archer. Whoop the fucking do. Oh, yeah, so this is what I was a bit worried about. Because of the placement on the wall, sometimes we will get people spawning inside of them. There it is, the goblin army has been defeated. Now then, what were we doing? Oh yeah, we were building dirt in the uh, corruption. Lurt! Lurt! Ooh, what the fuck did I just find here? Harpoon! Okay, so I guess we got something cool out of this. Now what does this do? Ooh. That, that's... that is... Maybe not super useful, but that is definitely cool. So, oh, okay. Those are some cool dang uh, physics. Off we are to the corruption. Alright, so now we have a bunch of dirt where there used to be snow. Now then, how does this grass see? How does these grass seeds work? Ah, they do indeed just cause that kind of grass to happen. Now, will this grass, you know, get shit uh, or get corrupted or uh, shit? You know what? I should stop being an idiot and actually just start googling. Okay, I've done some more research and. Uh, the mushroom I will get, the vile mushroom, is indeed not used for getting health potions. It is instead used to get vile powder, which I need to combine with something else. Yeah, I think it is a chunk of flesh. And I can use that to summon the Eater of Worlds. So, but I don't know, it doesn't look like this shit is getting corrupted. However, I think we got some... Uh, what were they called? Vile seeds or corrupted seeds? Yeah, corrupt seeds. So we'll try that out on the grass we just made. Yes, there it is. Okay, so that's corrupted grass. That is indeed what we were looking for. Now I think this will displace normal grass on its own. However, I guess we have to... Um, yeah, let's remove this. I guess we have to have one corrupt seed on each sort of part of the grass because it won't spread otherwise. And we only have six, so we can only make so much of it. Wait, I didn't get too much more from the, uh, the multiple bosses I destroyed, but you well. All right, let's get this going. Okay, we now have our second round of uh, potential growth. Let's plant one corruption seed right there. And one here. That gives us two more that we can potentially spend. Now sadly this part will have to be not corrupted. Actually though, if we want to make it look pretty we can just... Oh god, that's not pretty at all. Um... Okay, fine. It's not going to be that big of a problem. I find it kind of hilarious how intensely we're quote-unquote cultivating the uh, corruption right here. This is supposed to be some like dangerous epic area and we're just <laughs> digging around, changing it to our liking. I mean, this is human progress right here. This represents what we're all about. All right, this will have to do. Let's get that corruption going. There we are. We have now fucking terraformed the uh, corruption to our liking, and hopefully we will see some uh, some glorious mushrooms grow. <gasps> there is one right there. My efforts have not been for vain or for nothing. There it is, vile mushroom. And I don't know if we can immediately craft that into something. It doesn't look like it. I guess we'll have to swap back home. There it is! Vile powder. Okay, and then we connect that with some pieces of a chunk. Well, some rotten chunks. I even got some new ones from my adventures over there. We luckily have a bunch of them because I've had to mess around in the corruption so much. Now, let us see if this does the trick. Uh, it should be here. Okay, I did some googling, and uh, yeah, we cannot craft it here, we need to craft it by a demon altar. And we also need much more fucking wild powder, we need 30, and then we need 15 rotten chunks to get the um, the worm food that we need to spawn the Eater of... Eater of Worlds? Yeah. Though there might still be enough shadow orbs over there to actually um, uh, straight up craft, or to spawn him that way. Also, speaking of shadow orbs, I think I've also figured out what this thing is. Uh, we should be able to put it here. Um, yep, so right here in the... Uh, oh well, right before we look at it, I want to see what this is. Light pets. Okay, so there's pets and there's light pets. 
dies. Okay, well, I don't know what that's all about, but we can put it here, and now we have a, an orb flowing after us. Uh, so that's the thing. Yeah. Okay, since I just figured out where to place these dice, I say we go to this guy and we trade away our strange plant that gives us more reflective dice. Now we have a bunch of this shit. Oh, reflective copper die. Of course, that's totally different. What, what does this do? Uh, whoops. <laughs> I need to stop having this in my uh, toolbar here. I keep misclicking that thing all the time. Okay, so... Ooh, okay, so we can dye our shit. Now does it go away? No, it doesn't. Now this is interesting. What does a reflective dye do? Uh, it didn't really seem to do much at all. Other than... No, okay, so when we move, our body disappears a bit. That was not that cool. Let's copper ourselves up instead. Yeah, we could even change the color of our hat. Hey, look at that, now we're copper. Well, not all of the pants cha changed, sadly. Although, if that's the case, let's give the uh, the hat a try. Hat. Eh. I still prefer this. I still do. Okay, so we're gonna look like this for a while, I guess. <laughs> Although, well, this guy, he does sell more types of dye, I think. Okay, so he only sells the silver dye and the brown dye. Well, silver might be cool. That is expensive, though. My god. However, we can get the dye that. Right. Shop, let's get the dye that. Cost us a bunch of money, but, you know, we can afford it. That's the advantage of spending a bunch of time roaming about, trying to build shit you accidentally. Well, not accidentally, but... You sort of have to kill a bunch of zombies and other creatures that are going to be in your way. Let's place this thing down and see what it does. Okay, I did some googling and uh, so yeah, this whole die project isn't super easy. <laughs> oh my god, I always get shocked how like whenever I just google some minor thing I think and it's like nope, this is like a super big complicated stuff. Okay, so many items can give you different dies and you can combine dyes, you can make dyes brighter, you can make dyes fade in cool ways, uh, but they require fancy ingredients that I just have no way of getting right now. Well, some of them I can get, but none of the cool dyes. Well, I really want red dye, and I need um, to acquire a red husk, which I have no idea where you find. Okay, so getting the um, red dye, I need to kill a cochinal beetle. Which is just randomly found down in the ground? I have not stumbled upon it yet, so I guess it must be pretty rare. But we got our copper stuff, actually. Uh, well, I did sort of want to save my strange plants, because I don't know if you can uh, grow them. I want to know about that before. So I think actually our next goal should be to make a garden. Uh, which I will do a bunch of googling off screen to figure out how to do and uh, probably start on tomorrow. Don't know if this is going to be an entire episode. Once again though, you probably know. <laughs> but I don't. Because uh, I need to go make chicken for dinner. And then I should probably consider doing my homework, which I should have been doing for the last two hours. But instead I decided to play Terraria. That is just like uh, regular stuff for me. So, yeah. <laughs>